And now we want to keep you updated on what's going on with the coronavirus here in Michigan. As more help is coming to the unemployed in our state, the federal government has approved the state's request to provide an extra $300 a week in benefits. And there's a new White House declaration naming teachers critical infrastructure workers. That means that teachers are subject to the same kinds of safety guidelines as other essential workers like doctors and police officers. Teachers can continue to work even after exposure to a confirmed case of coronavirus, provided they are asymptomatic. Today, Wayne County Community College announced all in-person courses will be moved to virtual. And Fort Field has just announced that there will be no fans at the Lions' first two home games. Wayne County will start up jury service again with summons going out soon. Local 4's Rob Maloney shows us what's changing to keep jurors safe during this pandemic. They have been trying to resolve cases online since back in March, but here we are looking at Labor Day and the chief judges decided, you know what, it's time to get back into the courtroom. And so they're going to start on September 21st here at the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice, but they intend to do it safely. Jurors will be provided with a PPE kit, complete with additional masks, gloves, hand sanitizer, and wipes for their usage. A four minute long court made video also shows they'll provide a face shield for those with medical conditions, preventing them from wearing a mask. These are just a couple of the many changes to the courthouses. Chief Judge Timothy Kinney tells Local 4 six months was long enough to wait, considering the curve is far flatter than back in March. People who are who have been waiting for for months and months to have their matters litigated, um, we needed to move forward and we needed to uh, do it as uh, quickly, but also as carefully as we, we possibly could. There is lots of plexiglass installed everywhere, juror chairs and deliberation room seats all six feet apart. They'll start out with just two courtrooms, judges taking three week rotations using them. Civil trials will resume in person at the Coleman A. Young Municipal Building in mid October. And if all goes well. After uh, two months, we're hoping to then expand to uh, four courtrooms and we'll see how those problems resolve themselves and then we'll expand beyond that. But I, my expectation is that for the end of this year, uh, calendar year 2020, we will uh, be limited to probably at most of uh, four uh, judges. Because everyone is going to have to wear a mask inside the building, they know that there are going to be people who get summonses who have underlying health problems. And in those cases, the court is going to be fairly lenient about postponing your jury service until months from now. In downtown Detroit, Brad Maloney, Local 4.